Hello again, it's Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. And here we are in Vegas Movie Studio Platinum, part four of our eight-part basic training with Vegas Movie Studio. Now, in part five, we're going to take a look at how you add effects and how you adjust effects for your specific needs. But before we get to that, we need to lay some foundation here in part four. For one thing, you're going to notice that effects in Vegas Movie Studio are usually referred to as plugins rather than effects. Don't let that confuse you. They're called plugins because they're technically not part of the program. They're plugged into the program, and that is a nice system because that allows you to build out the library. You can find other effects and you can find other transitions out on the internet. You can buy those packages and as long as they're OFX standard, you can load them in and increase the library of effects that are available to you here in Vegas Movie Studio. I show you how to do that in the book, but just know that they're called plugins because they're plugged into the program and not technically part of the hardwire of the program itself. That said, one of the features that makes Vegas Movie Studio unique is that there are actually several ways to apply an effect, and each one has its advantage. So a video effect, for instance, I can apply a video effect to a single event or clip on the timeline. This is probably the most common way you're going to be applying your effect. So if I were to apply an effect or a plug-in to this particular clip, let me move the playhead over it so we can see what the effect is. There we go. If I were to apply an effect, I could do that simply by clicking on the little FX here, or FX, in the upper right-hand corner of the event on the timeline. And if I click on that, that opens up the plug-in chooser. This is where we're going to select our effect. And I can apply an effect, say for instance, the film effect, and click OK. And now that effect is going to be applied to this clip. Let me just apply one here so you can see it. There we go. But it is not applied to any other event or any other clip used in my movie. So that's probably the most common way you're going to apply an effect. I'm going to remove the effect by going up to the upper right hand corner here of the video event effects panel or dialog window and clicking on remove effects. So now that effect is gone. We could also apply an effect to an event by going over here to this panel in the upper left hand corner, the, the video effects panel, and here we could choose from the library effects. The nice thing about using effects from this panel is that you see previews of each effect and you get to see those previews here as presets. So if I were to select, for instance, newsprint, you see I have a number of options and we see previews of what each option or preset of that effect will look like. And then I'll know kind of what it's gonna look like when I apply it to my event on the timeline. You can see it gives it that kind of effect. Uh, by the way, you're not stuck with that preset. You can switch to a different preset or manually adjust the effect, which we're gonna discuss more in part five of our basic training. But let's remove that effect. Like I say, this is the most common way you're going to apply an effect to one single event on your timeline at a time. But there are other ways to apply effects. You can apply it to an entire track at a time. So if I go over here to the left to the track header, you see I can click on the track effects button. And when I do that, it opens up again the plugin chooser. I can choose my film effects, click OK, and we'll just apply, there we go, one of the presets to it. Now this effect is not limited to one event on the timeline. I can move the playhead through here and you see every single event on the timeline has that effect applied to it. But look at this, when I go to a place on my timeline where there's a clip that is on another track or an event that's on another track, you see the effect is not applied to it. So I've applied the effect to an entire track at once. Let's go ahead and again, remove that effect by clicking on remove effect or remove plugin. We can also apply an effect to our entire movie at once. And we can do that by going up here to the top of the preview window. And if I click on that effects button, select for instance, our film effects again, apply a preset, say very old film or circa 1908. And you can see now that no matter where I put my playhead, any place in the movie, that effect has been applied to the entire movie. So we can apply an effect to an individual event on the timeline. We can apply an effect to a track. We can apply an effect overall to our movie. By the way, that goes for audio as well as video effects. We can apply an audio effect to an individual event on the timeline here, or we can apply it to an entire track by, let me just click on the hamburger menu here. 
There's our track effects option, or we can apply it overall to our entire movie by going up here to the master audio control. And right there on that window in the upper left hand corner, you can select a master effect to be applied to your entire movie. One other way you can apply an effect is to a clip a media clip before you actually add it to the timeline. So for instance, I go back here to Project Media, I can apply an effect to any one of my clips, and then anytime I use it in the movie, it's going to have that effect pre-applied to it. What's the advantage to that? Well, suppose for instance, we've got a shaky video here, as I do. Let me just open that in our trimmer. There it is, we've got a shaky video. I can go to that video, right click on it, and select the option to add a media effect. Opens again our plugin chooser, and I can apply, for instance, video stabilization to that clip. Click OK and go through the process of stabilizing that clip, and now that clip will be pre stabilized. Anytime I use it in my movie, it already has the stabilization applied to it. So, four different ways you can apply an effect to your movie. And in part five, we're going to take a look a little more closely at how you apply an effect and then modify the effect for your particular need. Hope to see you in part five as we continue our eight part basic training here for Vegas Movie Studio Platinum.